Shophatim judges 14. And Shimshan went down to Timnah and saw a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Peleshitim. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnah of the daughters of the Peleshitim. Now therefore get her for me to be my woman. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of your brethren, or among all my people, that you go to take a woman of the uncircumcised Peleshitim? And Shimshon said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleases me well. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of Yahuwah, that he sought in occasion against the Peleshitim. For at that time, the Peleshitim had dominion over Yashedael. Then went Shimshon down and his father and his mother to Timnah and came to the vineyards of Timnah. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Ruach, Yahuwah, came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid, and he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother at what he had done. And he went down and talked with the woman, and she pleased Shimshon well. And after a time he returned to take her, and he turned aside to see at the carcass of the lion. And behold, there was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. And he took thereof in his hand and went on eating and came to his father and mother and he gave them and they did eat. But he told not them that he had taken the honey out of the carcass of the lion. So his father went down unto the woman, and Shimshon made there a feast, for so used the young men to rather, for so used the young men to do. And it came to pass, when they saw him, they rather that they brought thirty companions to be with him. And Shimshon said unto them, I will now put forth a riddle unto you. If ye can certainly declare it me within the seven days of the feast, and find it out, then I will give you thirty shekels and thirty change of garments. But if ye cannot declare it me, then shall ye give me thirty sheets and thirty change of garments. And they said unto him, Put forth your riddle, that we may hear it. And he said unto them, Out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. And they could not in three days expound the riddle. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they said unto Shimshon's woman, Entice eth your man that he may declare unto us eth the riddle, lest we burn you eth and your father's house with fire. Have ye called us to take that we have? Is it not so? And Shimshon's woman wept before him and said, You do but hate me and love me not. You have put forth a riddle unto the children of my people and have not told it me. And he said unto her, Behold, I have not told it my father nor my mother, and shall I tell it you? And she wept before him the seven days, while their feast lasted. And it came to pass on the seventh day that he told her, because she lay sore upon him, and she told the riddle to the children of her people. And the men of the city saw unto him on the seventh day before the sun went down, What is sweeter than honey, and what is stronger than a lion? And he said unto them, 
If ye had not plowed with my heifer, ye had not found out my riddle. And the Ruach Yahuwah came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon and slew thirty men of them, and took Eth their spoil, and gave change of garments unto them, which expounded the riddle. And his anger was kindled, and he went up to his father's house. But Shimshon's woman was given to his companion, whom he had used as his friend. 